Okay, right. Here is a demonstration of my new SDR receiver. This is. I'll just focus there. This is the SDR-X um, HF optimized RTL 2832U based SDR receiver. This basically is for software defined radio. Um, uses the uh, very common RTL based uh, TV dongle inside and it has selectable bandpass filters. Now, if I just show this down here. At the moment I've got two LEDs flashing. That means I'm on the VHF band. At the back, there are two antennas. I have this larger one here. It's my VHF uh, double disco type antenna. And this antenna here is the HF antenna, <coughs> which is a 30 meter long wire antenna. Um, let's see my back garden. Okay. So, uh, this is the USB. The two antennas on the back. Uh, this is the button at the front here to select the band. At the moment, it's on the VHF band. I'm going to actually turn it by pressing this to what I want is the two to six megs. I want the red LED flashing, like so. Okay, so that's on the two to six meg band using the HF antenna, which is this one here. Now on the PC, uh, the software I'm using, you can use various different types of software, uh, different programs. What I found is absolutely superb, though you probably can't see, is SDR console version 2 or V2. So if we just start that. Uh, but this is a beta version uh, 2.32. Right, okay, as soon as you start the program up, um, let's assume that you've installed oops, uh, installed the uh, software correctly and the drivers needed. Um, there's the dongle. No, I use two dongles. I've actually got a separate SDR receiver here that's homemade. It's just for the VHF band. Um, so anyway, that one's not connected at the moment. This is the. I'm not too sure if it's an easy cap dongle inside uh, the SDRX, but that's what it's showing. This is what I'm going to connect to. Well, you've got your sample rate, which is just at the bottom. That's the side, the bandwidth of spectrum the USC, this 2 meg. That's what I find it works best around that sort of size. Now, obviously, there's an up converter in uh, the, the dongle, so I need to up 100 meg just to be able to see, receive the HF band. Um, obviously, you need to do some research. Um, we'll start now. <coughs> I'll just mute it at the moment. Okay, what am I tuned to at the moment? Right, 4 440 meg. That's very good. Okay, right. Now we have the, the tuning box here. At the moment it's on the VHF band. So um, right click on the mouse, take it down to 100. Uh, take this all the way down. If we go down to. How the fuck do we band? Okay, take the mute off. Lower side band. Okay, so now I'm tuned to the 40 meter band. Um, there's a start button in the top corner. That's 40 meter band, 7 megahertz, normally on lower side band, uh, which is, if you can see that, lower side band. And start. Okay, this is the frequency control. You can adjust frequency here with the mouse or up here. I don't know how good the audio. Adjust the span. Now that's um, a two mega, two meg 
from the start of this spectrum to the end of the spectrum. So you see two meg of the, ra the radio spectrum there. Um, obviously, the uh, 48 band is quite crowded. Um, so to adjust this setting, so you see a 500 kilohertz half a meg band, and you can see the signals there a bit clearer. Yeah, I've used quite a few SDR receivers and, um, and up converters, and I have to say the SDRX, this little box here, is extremely good, filtering out all signals from outside the band. So at the moment, it's flashing on the two to six meg band. And now on the six to eleven <laughs> obviously there's some fine tuning yeah, this is probably not the best time of day to be listening on the 40 band so we'll stop that so uh, yeah that's basically my quick review of the SDRX um, software HF up converted software defined receiver.